J. Mike Dalton. And this is Unisport Uncut episode number 41. 41, Nail Gadix. Eno Farah. And today, Jolter, we are talking about the big question. The thing that everyone is discussing at the moment. Which brand is doing better at the market at the moment? I have the answers. Oh, uh, wait, 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 what do I have? I'm gonna go then, you just take it. <laughs> we don't need it for this episode. <laughs> but just, you know, to have a second opinion. Let's kick it off. You have the timer, you know, we don't wanna... There we go. Ten minutes on the clock. As per usual, Jolter, we have the big discussion. Nike or Adidas, which of the two are doing the better job at the moment? Go. Adidas. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say Adidas. Why? You know? Why? Because I really feel like Adidas, they have been coming out with different kind of stuff. Okay. All the time. Yes. You know? Yes. And I feel like Nike, they need a little bit of like something, you know? <laughs> to to re regain the glory again. But that's They had their, you know, their their role when the Magista. The Superfly came out. All this, the Hyper Venom One. We don't even have to talk about that. You know, that was like, a, that was a great time to be alive. Yes. Um. <laughs> but but they, I mean, since the Hyper Venom, or for for even longer before that, they have been in a clear pole position. But, but what what's happened? I mean, for you to say Adidas today, something must have happened. Now, obviously, we all know the reshuffle. Then came the Ace. Uh, I think that the Ace was kind of like the turnaround. For Adidas. Mm. Uh, now we have we have the X, which is also brilliant. We have Nemesis that just you know introduced all the tape and stuff. And and you can think about this what you want, but it's a really solid, a, a very very new way of thinking football boots. Mm. But but you know I think that yes, there's all the hype about Adidas, and and don't get me wrong, I love their stuff to bits. I think they're killing it with the colorways and stuff. But if we look at the quality of the boots. I think that Nike are still doing very, very well for themselves. I'm not saying that they, there's anything wrong they're doing no. or there's anything bad. But the thing is that, in all honesty, I don't like the Nike high top boots. There, I said it. I like the low cuts. Opus 2, like uh, my one of my favorite boots of last year. I'm not a big fan of the, the Magista Obra, you know, the high cut big brother of the, of the Opus. But no. this guy is... It's a fantastic boot. I could play a game in these any day. My favorite Nike boot at the moment, you know, of the recent uh, current silos, yes. whatever. Yes. Um, but I just feel like Adidas, they are, they, they, they killing it. Man. Yes, they are. They killing it. And, 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 and you're right, you're right. And we, we, got some, we got some quality boots, both they're like super high end, uh, they're, they're pure or 360, whatever, the high end boots. Uh, the Ace Pure Control, uh, 360, Agility, and the Pure Chaos. Uh, brilliant, brilliant boots. Brilliant boots. All of them are brilliant football boots. Uh, the Copa is, is a very decent boot too. And, and I agree with you that, you know, the high cut boots, to me, they're just a little too similar, if you know what I mean. Yes. They, they're all flying it. And yes, I know that they have different, uh, you know, shapes of the color, and you do feel a difference, especially on the color on the on the Hyper Venom and the Magista color, which is where this they... is actually my favorite color yes. on the on the Nike boots. I, I can see why because it has the the, the anatomical shape yeah. around the you know the the ankle uh, bones. Yeah. I like the Hyper Venom color more uh, simply because it is a little bit thinner than it is on the Magista. But but I think that you know the Nike color it it, it is a brilliant idea and, and it, it changed the whole game. Let's be yes. honest about yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Nike this changed this would have never happened without the Magista. The Magista. The Magista 1. Yeah. Nike changed the game in 2014 mm. with the Magista 1 and the Superfly 4. Uh, but it's it's just it feels to me that instead of doing the the complete revolution, they've more gone through a um uh, uh you know a, a more a bit of an evolution, like a small evolution mm. where they kind of you know, they took something that was very, very good in the Superfly 4, and then, yes, they tapped on the anatomical soul play, which is brilliant, by the way, and they, they put on the speed ribs, but it, it was more like rounding off an already really, really good product. That's not to say the Superfly 5 is bad. It's just not, it's not just mind-blowing exactly. good. And that's probably their, their, their issue right now, Nike, is that they're making really, really, really good stuff. I mean, the Hyper Venom 3, it's, it's a tech monster. Flying it super thin, flying it, it's really, really soft out of the box. And I do love the, the low cut model again. It, I'm not, I, I, I don't mess with the, the high tops, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but the low cut guy is a brilliant dude yes, as well. Yes, yes. 
the sole plate is absolutely fantastic. It's it's nice. It's stiff where it needs to be, um, and and I, I I love it. It's it's a brilliant football boot. Magista, uh, I'm probably gonna go with Loka for that as well. But what Nike's problem is that yes, they make very good boots, but they're just up against someone who just keeps they they just keep reinventing the the wheel. Yes. For, for themselves, because Adidas came from doing not so well to all of a sudden doing extremely well, yes. and just being, you know, they're they're riding on a on a on a high wave, and and I just can't help but feel that that you know, there's something that needs to be done in Nike. They need to to in order to you know, not necessarily in terms of products because their products are really really good, but in terms of uh, the perception of people buying their stuff, they need to kind of get back to you know. Man, Nike are the front runners of the game, and oh, exactly. they keep coming up with this uh, crazy, innovate, uh, innovative stuff. But what if I told you that there are also other great brands oh, other I, than oh, just Nike oh, and Adidas? Oh, oh, oh! oh. What oh, if I, I told know. you? I know, I know. And let's just you now know. is the time for the appreciation, the the, the usual Puma appreciation. <laughs> Listen, guys, Puma, <laughs> the boys are doing something right. They are killing it. I know, we're, we're, we keep raving. Like and, I, I know, like, you know, Puma... Not many people are showing love to the Puma, in my opinion. I, I don't have any numbers. Not but, as much but as it's they still, it's still Yes, exactly. They don't get the, the podium time the way they deserve. No. But this guy, you know, I, I love the Opus. Yes. But this this one, I think this is next level. You know? It is. It is. This it is, is next, next level low cut boot with suck needing whatever you want to call it. And, and again, this boot wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for Nike and the Magista. Of course, not. obviously. Of course, not. but it's still something that Puma have taken what what is out there, uh, taking current technologies, and they've actually you know they're the only ones to have the Adablight. They're the only ones to have the you know the the natural bending of the foot. This is a very 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 unique product. Yes. And in my opinion, they don't get enough recognition for the Evo Power Line. We can then discuss uh, the quality of. I know you like the Evo Touch. The Evo Speed, yes, it, it, it is a, a solid boot, but it's probably run its course. Uh, but, but the Evo Power itself is, I think, enough to really show that, that Puma mean business. Yes. And, and they are a brand to, to, to you know, they need this respect. So, oh, so yeah. Germans are doing well at the moment. But Jolter, there are others than just the Americans and the Germans. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win this out. <laughs> and you know it was coming. You know it was coming. I mean, I don't think Mizuno get enough love. And I know I've been talking a lot about them recently, but but that's because I, you know, I actually started paying attention to their boots. I have a meeting I need to attend. <laughs> I, they, this, this, I started giving their boots more love. I started playing more in my old Misuno boots. I, I've had Misunos for, for years. And I only recently, you know, found back to them. And, and my God, the quality of the boots. This boot screams quality. Like even just looking at it, like the way the leather you know, shines a little bit under these lights. Yes. Wow. The build it quality looks good. is just up there. And if you love leather boots, I mean, Misuno is just, they just are the best to make leather boots. The, the, the quality is so unreal and it's handmade in Japan. I mean, hit me with something else yes. as well. Yes. Okay, okay. I'm going to bring up another brand, another American brand. I'm going to take some paper out of these because otherwise they are going to be really stiff. Should have prepared better. But, anyways, <laughs> Under Armour. I think that Under Armour aren't getting the same amount of, of, of uh, or enough credibility uh, either because they actually do make very good products. Spotlight is a pretty good speed boot and the clutch fit especially is, is actually really, really impressive with this hit, um, upper that stretches. And, and I know it's probably not something people would go out and think, hey, I'm going to buy an Under Armour boot, it's hella sexy. But they actually make solid boots and design-wise, I don't think they're bad. No, it's not bad, you know. Only, only thing is that they look very slim. All the Under Armour boots, in my opinion, like straight out of the box, looking at it like this, yes. they look very slim. And you know how I feel about slim looking boots. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do think that in terms of, of you know, uh, a wide boot, the, the Opus would be better for you. But, but this feels a lot like a, a slightly more uh, stretchy, elasticated, you know, uh, a compressed Opus, mm. which is, uh, it, it's a really, really nice boot and, and, and pretty underrated in my opinion. So, so there we go. I just gotta say one thing. Yes, we might, we might agree that Adidas are maybe uh, spewing out uh, in terms of colorways. Uh, they're killing it. They're killing it. I think Nike with the motion blur pack is also doing a really, really, really good job. Time to shine. 
Not so sure about that one, but Motion Blur, one of the best looking packs of 2017, in my opinion. But Adidas are also doing well. But best boot on the market is still the Vapor 11. That's your opinion, you know? And funnily enough, I have my current top three right here, you know? In no actually specific, yeah, yeah no, no particular order, you know? They are right here. I love my low cuts. I love my wide fitting boots. Look at the sole plates. Mainly conical studs ish. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> that went well for you. Uh, <laughs> whatever, but you get the point. I yes. have all my three boots right here. And actually one from each brand. So what we can conclude, you know, I, I kind of feel the same way that if we can choose three, I was I'm, I'm gonna go with these three. You know, Nike uh, boot, Adidas boot, Puma Evo Power One. I mean, that, that's probably my three favorites at the moment. I, I can, but you know, just to paint a picture that for, for, for the first time in a really, really, really long time, Jolter, we have a situation on the market where all the brands are making, I mean, I would, I would swear right now, but they're making amazing football boots. For Adidas, real. firing on all cylinders. Nike, I mean, they're Nike. They might be, you know, not, uh, throwing out all the innovative stuff that they were in 2014. But they're still Nike. They make amazing stuff. Their boots are awesome. Puma? We all know the story about Puma Evo Power. Misuno are doing well. Under Armour are doing well. Umbro are doing well. New Balance? They need to come back with something in 2018. But, but other brands are doing really, really well. Yeah, man. I, I mean, I mean this, is, this is a unique situation. And I'm, I'm, I, honestly, if you, if you put a gun to my head and said you have to choose one brand between Nike, Puma, and, and Adidas. That's very difficult, man. I, I, I honestly wouldn't know because I would say, yes, Adidas, they're doing well at the moment, but I love my Nike boots. <laughs> I'm a Nike kind of guy. I've always, always has been. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's a tough it's one. It's very difficult, you it's know? A, it's a tough one. But, but let's say that at the moment, Adidas have the momentum. They've got a good thing going for them. Uh, the Ace is very popular, X is very popular, Nemesis is really, really popular. Also, obviously, Nike have the Mercurial. Hypervenom is doing well, people love the Magista. It's difficult, you know? I think we're gonna need you know, help. From, we need some opinions. We need some opinions out there. So, so let us know what you think is, is the brand that is winning. At the and moment. why? And why? Write down in the comment section below. And if you do that, you could have a chance to win. Before we announce this week's, uh, this uh, episode's giveaway, we have a winner from last time, Joel, sir, and it is uh, this fella. Congratulations. And today, if you do comment with a nice thing, nice comment, nice reason for uh, which brand is the better one, you can win uh, this stuff. Did I do well? It was pretty good. It was pretty, it was pretty good. Pretty okay. Solid. Okay. But you also, uh, any last remarks? You you want to say that you haven't mentioned just yet? Um, you know, I just want to uh, emphasize the fact that I love my low tops. Okay. Yes. I don't mess with the high cut boots. I'm sorry to say that if I break your heart, I apologize. But I'm just being real, man. I like my low tops. That's it. And you also, <laughs> it's funny that you say it because in the next time, kind. You and I are actually going to discuss, do colors work? Hey, that's going to be... So there was a bit of a spoiler. But anyways, guys, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the episode. Let us know what your favorite brand is, which brand is killing it, down in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe, green bubble button, whatever, up here near my head. Leave us a like if you had a good time. And Jolter, share the video with your bros and bro girls. Exactly. Just to spread words. the love, bro girls. <laughs> We're going to be signing up to you. Peace out. Yeah. <laughs>